We've seen how we can use separate tracks and dummy tracks to affect visuals, but now we're going to combine both of them to affect something which we haven't touched on before, which is time. In this song I have two separate string tracks which provide backing for the violin spiccato track, and so in the strings tremolo track I've inserted the key tracker, inserted the appropriate parameters, and like before, we're using this to affect the volume of the dummy track. The other track, which we'll be making use of in After Effects, is the Indust track. You can see on the right hand side of it here, there is the 04 volume slicer command. And this is being used in a technique which I've been using since the early 90s. What it basically does is it slices the volume of the sound in this track mostly in accordance with what's occurring in the drums and it creates some interesting rhythmic interplay As usual, I've used the keyframe assistant on the dummy track and the indust track and the video I've got loaded in that we're going to be affecting is of some penguin swimming at Edinburgh Zoo which I took last year. The way we can affect it is to right click on the video and from the menu choose Time, Enable Time Remapping. And this will give you the effect down here, Time Remap, which you can use like any other effect. And so I've Alt clicked on the stopwatch allowing for the creation of this expression. Now this expression might look quite complex, but it's not really. To show you this, I'll go into the graph. And what we have here is the simple progress through time of the video, just a straight line. We also have the jagged line of the volume slicer from the Indust track. And the dummy layer, which is just the note values of that track which will place us at distinct points in time within the video. So what the expression really says is take the dummy layer and add it to the indust layer, which has been divided by 50 so that the volume slicing has been muted, ensuring that the stuttering within the video is not as sharp as it could be. And then add it to time, which is just the progress of the video through time, ensuring that when the dummy layer takes us to specific points in the video, we're still actually progressing through time. And then I've just added 8, which is 8 seconds, so that the dummy layer does take us to interesting points within the video. The other thing I've done is, like in video 2, I've selected all of the keyframes and used easy ease on them so that the transitions between all the keyframes are much smoother. So, by simply using two tracks from Renoise and one simple expression in a single effect in After Effects, we can now use music to control the motion of a video.